Before we go this morning, we're going to switch into the arts. Now, if you're in Key West, stop by the Gatto building for the latest exhibit entitled Visions and Dreams. Now, this exhibit actually benefits an amazing organization here in Monroe County known as Take Stock in Children. We'll talk this morning with the program coordinator, Leslie Holmes. Leslie, thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. All right, Leslie, could you give our viewers an overview of Take Stock in Children? Take Stock in Children is a scholarship program. It's a statewide program. It's offered in every county in the state of Florida. We um, screen low-income families. Um, we screen the students, check their grades, check their test scores, and if they qualify, they have to sign a contract, and once they graduate high school, they'll be given a four-year scholarship. They're also assigned a mentor, um, and mentors are volunteers throughout the community. So it's a, it's a two-pronged system. You know, we provide scholarship and mentors, and at the end, they get hope. So we need a scholarship and a mentor before we can uh, pick a student to be part of our program. Now, the mentors, are they just people in the community, Leslie? They're ju just regular people that want to change a life. Um, the campaign we have going now is called Change a Life Over Lunch because everybody gets a lunch hour mm -hmm. and it takes about an hour out of your day mm -hmm. per week to change a life meet with the student, talk about anything, grades, what's going on around the world, what's going on in the community, whatever, you know, they're interested in talking about. So it, it doesn't require any kind of degree or mm -hmm. specialization. Yeah, it's just an hour of your time to just be there for a student who might not have encouragement from home, it sounds like. Yeah, and it, it's providing them with the extra adult role model that they might not be getting. A lot of our families, the, the moms and dads or aunts, whoever they're living with, they work two and three jobs mm -hmm. to support the family. So they might not have that dinner time table talk mm -hmm. that a lot of families do have. Great. Now, Leslie, what are some of the results in the past year of some of the kids who have gone through the Take Stock program? Um, we had 50 students that recently graduated uh, through our program here in Monroe County. All of our students, uh, they are enrolled in college, mm -hmm. whether it be community college or university. I would say about 50-50. Um, half went on to university and the other half uh, went on to a community college. In Marathon High School, we had one young lady, she had a 4.6 GPA, so she wow. was like salutatorian of her class. So we do have high academically performing students in our program, but oh. we, ha we set that expectation for them. Right. Yeah, you definitely. Those are some great results then, <laughs> right? They're 4.6 GPA. Leslie, tell us about the exhibit right now at the Gato Building. Um, well, the Gato Building is featuring the visions and dreams. It's photography by Michael Marrero. He's a local artist. And Michael and I worked together, and we literally drove up and down the mm -hmm. Keys taking pictures of current students and former students that have already graduated that are in college and some are even working. For example, we have Christina Bellotti featured in the art exhibit, and she's a teacher at Marathon High School. So she is one of our success stories. She was in the first graduating class at Take Stock in Children, and she is currently working on her doctorate degree um, in education. So Good for her. Good yes. For her. So these are just different faces of past Take Stock and current. Okay, past and current. Great. And this exhibit will be up for the rest of the month, Leslie, and into September? It'll be up through September and eventually the exhibit will move all the way up the Keys and will be ending in Ocean Reef mm -hmm. probably in January sometime. Okay, great. Well, if you want any more information on Take Stock and Children, I know you can contact Leslie. She'll give you all the information you need to know. And now with the school year getting ready to start, is that when you pick who's all going to be involved in the organization? Yes. What we'll do is uh, we want, now the FCAT scores have been released, we screen the students based on passing their test scores and their income levels. And then we turn those names over to the schools. Um, there's different people at each school that work with us in screening students to identify whether they would be a good candidate because they have to have good behavior as well. Mm -hmm. And then we will start offering out applications and mm -hmm. we'll review applications and proper income mm -hmm. guidelines and then we'll do a contract signing with them probably in October. 
Great. And of course, you need the mentor. So if anyone's interested in, in mentoring, just mm -hmm. contact Leslie. Leslie, thank you for being on this morning. And I look forward to talking with some of the past clients of Take Stock and Children. Thank you for having me. All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in this morning. I hope that you can join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day. Yeah.